G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. No, I'm not at the bench. I'm not even at the workshop. I'm at home. I'm at home. I'm stuck at home with this whole situation. But important point. Now we all use these. Maybe not these orange ones. We might use these ones. I'm talking about LiPo batteries. Everybody's got a fistful of LiPo batteries because that's what the hobby runs on. You may even have some yellow ones. So why am I making this video? Well, if you're not going to be using these batteries for the next few weeks, um, put them on storage. Put them on storage. Now, they may be fully charged because you were planning to go out flying on the weekend and you weren't able to get out and maybe you can't get out to fly. If you leave your batteries fully, store, fully, char fully charged, it's not good for them for a number of reasons. First of all, it will, fully charged batteries are far more likely to puff because the chemicals inside when they're fully charged are highly reactive. So other unwanted chemical reactions can take place, which releases hydrogen gas, which causes the batteries to puff which reduces their capacity and increases their internal resistance. So you want to bring them down to a storage charge, about 3.8 volts per cell. Most four button chargers have that. It may take a while because they don't discharge at very high rates, but uh, you've got nothing but time at the moment, I, I expect. So put these on storage and leave them that way until you're ready to use them again. And if, they, if you've finished flying with them and you didn't recharge them, just check and make sure they haven't been over discharged. And if they have been over discharged, put them on storage as quickly as you can. So that will mean that when this whole thing's over, you can get out there and do some flying without having finding your batteries have turned into balloons, because that's not a good look. So yeah, very important. The other reason you'd want to bring these down to storage if they're fully charged is that they represent a fire risk. Now, the last thing you want is to uh, have more problems than we've already got. So you really want to bring these down to 3.8 volts per cell. So they're far less likely if, if for example, you know, they get damaged or fall off a bench or something, far less likely to burst into flames if they've got less energy in them and at 3.8 volts per cell, they've got much less energy than when they're fully charged at 4.2 volts per cell. So there you go. Today's tip, go and find all your LiPos, check the voltages. If they're below 3.8 volts per cell or above 3.8 volts per cell, put them on storage now so that you've protected the LiPos and you might have protected your house. Really important stuff. So that's just a little tip, a daily tip from RC Model Reviews. Thanks for watching. I've got, as I've said on my XG channel, I've got quite a few videos in the can, which I was waiting to film other parts of, but given the current situation, I'll release them as a part one and I'll do the follow-ups when I'm able to get out flying. So there will be some more review videos coming up on this channel. Stay tuned. Don't forget to click the bell to be advised because YouTube's going real funny at the moment. It's a bit spastic. It is, um, a lot of people have found that they're not getting the notifications when people upload videos, even though they've been getting notifications before. YouTube seems to have gone through and reset a whole lot of stuff. So if you don't click the bell and click to be notified every time I upload a video, you won't know. You won't know. And you miss out on all the cool stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Stick with us. Um, I will try and keep the flow of videos as regular and as high quality as I can, which means more. I can't do whiteboard videos. I don't have a whiteboard here. But I will be doing some tech videos, and I'll be using computer graphics where I would normally use the whiteboard. Or maybe I'll just draw on the wall there with a crayon, and my wife will kill me. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Spot you later.